it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today we're going to get into Gleeman. And I know you've seen this mask when you're scrolling on Instagram because it is everywhere. What is Gleeman? Where are they from? Does it really work? Let's get into all of that. I've been using the mask for about a month and I wanted to come and tell you guys my experience with it. Okay, so like who's gleaming? I did a little internet research. Honestly, my first thought was, wow, this looks like a black owned brand that has this amazing mask that so many people are interested in, like props, like what, you know, that is fierce, I love that. But before I made the claim, cause I was like, well, I don't see anything that says black owned, but like I see that they use a lot of black models or people of color just to keep it even, cause I don't know what everybody is or how they're perceived to be, but I just appreciate that the models represent like people of color, which is really nice and refreshing for once. So I was looking on their website, like no information. Then I started looking at their Instagram, which doesn't go that far back. The company looks like it started posting on Instagram of March, 2019. So basically around this time last year, but it wasn't called Gleeman. It was called Seed and Sour, which, you know, I'm grateful for that name change because Seed and Sour just doesn't like hit it, you know, as much, but who am I to judge? Anyway, so I was looking on it and one of the photos about couple into it, literally there's someone that comments like, are you guys black owned? The response was, we have a mix of ethnicities and cultures within the team here at Gleeman. That includes African American as well. Though they're from Australia, like they have factories and all that in like Idaho, United States. So I thought that answer kind of summed it up. It's not a black owned company, but they have all types of people working there. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. I, I appreciate how open they were and they did respond. Now, the one thing I will say about that seed and sour mask is that one of the photos I saw on Instagram, that size was huge. Now this size is 60 grams or 2.1 ounces. That other one that I saw looked like almost like double. This mask is a vitamin C clay mask that has turmeric and aloe vera, but it has turmeric and it doesn't stain. That's the thing that actually stood out to me the most is because we know that turmeric has so many um, good qualities for your skin and anti-inflammatory and it's good for glowing skin, etc. But if you use it incorrectly or just in general when you're using turmeric, it stains. So I'm glad that they have some sort of formula or whatever that prevents it from staining. It has never, ever, ever stained on my skin, which is great. And they have aloe vera, which is pretty soothing. Uh, this is what the mask looks like on the inside. So it's literally this bright yellow color, which I love. I love yellow, it represents the sun and brightness and excitement. This brand is cruelty-free and vegan. There are no animal byproducts. And so what you get in your little pack is the mask and this little brush. Amazing thing about the brush, it's less messy. So using the brush to apply, I feel like I don't have to get this stuff all over my hands, whatever. I like that so much better. I think that's a great little duo together. With some other clay masks, when you put them on, they're like really thick and hard to like smear onto the face, or at least I have trouble with it. I feel like this mask goes on really, really smoothly and it dries down pretty well. You leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wash it off. Feels good on the skin, doesn't feel like my skin is like dry and cracked after, it feels really nice. Now normally those things mention like three times a week and I'm like, oh, I don't I don't wanna do too much just in case. It is also vitamin C, so it can be very high uh, potency. So I usually do about two times a week, but I thought I would just follow along and do three times a week and I'm really impressed with what I've seen for my skin. One thing that I will note is that there are certain spots on my skin and I'm not sure why or whatever, but I do feel like the teen teensiest amount of a tingle not all the time but when I first started using it it would kind of be in like these areas I guess you'd say but it could vary it wasn't like crazy burning but it was just kind of like mm, what what's going on so, certain little spots did have a little bit of a tingle to it I could have sworn when I first saw this, this mask was like $35, which is kind of the same as that other one, the Acerai Red Clay Mask. I don't know, call me crazy. I could have sworn. I saw it said $35, but I went on the website recently and it said $39. And I was like, woo! I do consider $39 a little bit on the high end. This is two ounces of product. I did think that I was going to go, I was gonna go through it really quickly. So I was like, mm. But I'm actually doing pretty well and I say there's a good amount of this product left in here. So I retract that thought. 
Now, how are you gonna get that discount? Cause you know I love coming at you guys with discounts. The first thing I noticed, and I don't know when they started this, cause maybe it might be recently, is that they have a reward system. If you wanna get this mask, but you don't wanna spend $39, they give you so many opportunities to pay for less. 50 points for just joining. 50 points gets you $5 off. So you're already back at 35. That's great. 50 points is $5, 100 points is $10, and it goes up to 200 points, which is $20. You get $10 if you refer a friend, you can get 10 points if you follow on Facebook, 10 points for Pinterest, 10 points for Instagram, 10 points for Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. So they give you actually a good amount of opportunities to save that coin. So right off the bat, you can easily get $5 plus and work your way up. You could easily, honestly, you could easily get that $20 off. So I'm just saying for anybody out there that is like moi, that is like, ooh, you know, $50, $40 right about now in this struggle of a world is a lot. If you really wanna try this mask, they're offering really easy ways to lower that price. And I think that that is very generous and that is like a, a huge major win in my book. I respect companies that do that because not everybody could just drop $40 at that easily. We all know vitamin C is good for the scars, it's good for glowing of the skin, but wow. All I'm wearing right now is the teensiest amount of a finishing powder. I don't have foundation on right now and I feel comfortable in my skin. My scars have lightened in the last month, which is the goal. <laughs> like, if you know me and you're on my channel and you see my other videos, the goal is always to get these scars to be gone. <laughs> and looking at the mirror now, like just over here, like they're just so much lighter than what they were, especially down here on my chin. These guys were major. This mask, I can continue to use it for three times a week if that's what I'm gonna get. I just feel like I naturally have this brighter glow to my skin or my skin is just more radiant. Like I actually do see the difference. It's not feeling like uh, completely dull. And like, you know how it is in the winter. You're just like, the one thing, you know, there's always one thing that would make me knock off the teensiest bit is that I sneezed the other day and I looked out and I had the golden flakes all over my shirt and I was like, wow. Okay, so I decided to go outside and take some photos and it happened to be really sunny and actually really beautiful. Can we just take a moment for the sun because so beautiful outside right now. And I wanted to show you guys what my skin looked like with it. I was, the first time I was in front of just like my screen door, and then the second time I'm like outside. So you can see with the different lighting too, but I have not done any filters to any of it. That is purely just the sun and good old camera iPhone 8. Um, but I, and I also took down my hair finally. But I wanted to show you guys like how the, um, how my skin is doing, how this mask, it's literally like, glowing um but yeah you could just see the texture of my skin is just so much more like unified and then yes i still do have scars but like they're not so prominent so basically i am really happy with the mask i do highly recommend it and for once i actually did keep to the mask and using it three times a week and i do feel like i am seeing results so i just wanted to show you guys and show you guys in the different lighting and all that kind of stuff because even sometimes now like depending on the quality of my camera like you might see my skin like a certain way so those photos are literally outside in the sun it's about 12 50 in the afternoon and uh yeah that's my video. Uh, comment down below if you've used Gleeman before. What are your thoughts? How do you like it? I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.